Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Alexander Horsborough, the Minister of Dalkeith, St Nicholas Baclou Parish Church, Moderator of the Presbytery of Lothian and Secretary of the Council of the World Communion of Reformed Churches in Europe. Presiding officer, thank you for your invitation and for the honour of addressing Parliament. The story I want to tell is a difficult one. It concerns a Middle Eastern mother. She is utterly desperate. She has no power and no one to help her. Her daughter is in grave danger. She will do anything to rescue her child from the torment she is suffering. She hears of someone recently arrived who is said to have helped others in similar circumstances. She finds the house in which she's staying, forces her way in, and demands the help she and her daughter so desperately need. The man turns on her, calls her a dog, and says what he does is not for the likes of her. If you think I've been telling a contemporary story, that's good, but I haven't been. It is a story from the earliest of the Gospels, Mark. The woman's name is not known, but the man's name is Jesus of Nazareth. Christians do not readily acknowledge that Jesus could be cruel, but on this occasion he was. It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs, he said, meaning that what he was saying and doing was for the Jews, not others. The woman, whose only power lay in her quick wit and eloquence, replied, I may be no more than a dog to you, but even dogs get scraps. I'm not asking for much, just a scrap. If you now think I've been telling an ancient story, that would only be partly true. This is a contemporary story too. Desperate people from the Middle East are demanding help from those they know can help. Those who are drowning in the Mediterranean are not tasting even a scrap. The woman's words changed Jesus. He healed her daughter and in the next story restored a man's hearing, saying the Aramaic word ephatha, which means be opened. Jesus' own heart was opened by the electrifying words of that desperate, suffering woman. This woman calls us all, not just Jesus, to recognize the humanity in every other person. That Aramaic word should ring in the ears of all of us. Every day, we should tell ourselves, be open. Open to our minds being changed, open to those in need, open to our wealth being shared. A closed heart is a cruel heart, but from an open heart flow love, compassion, and care. Thank you. We now move to topical questions.